Alright, this is my Logitech G27 racing wheel. Um, I'm going to do a short review kind of thing of it to show you guys um, how it works. And um, I've owned it for almost a year now, so you can see how the durability of it works and all that. But um, yeah, well, with the wheel, I think you guys, if you've ever watched a review video of one, you'll know that the steering wheel turns 900 degrees. And um, it's wrapped in stitched leather. I don't know if you can see it, but it is. Um, it has six programmable buttons for. Uh, now you can do it for Gran Turismo 5 because they came out with the update. So now these are all programmable with Gran Turismo 5. You have uh, two stainless steel paddle shifters. Um, shift up, shift down, all that kind of stuff. Um, you have the rev LEDs to show you. Um, the RPMs of your car. Um, this isn't a button. It's just there. I don't know. I think it'd been cool if they put that for a button. But um, that's the wheel. Um, this is my shifter. Uh, as you can see, it's modded in a couple ways. But um, yeah, it, it still works. It works okay after a year. Um, sometimes it'll miss gears every now and then, like, even if you don't have the clutch working with it, and you're just shifting, it'll miss fifth gear every now and then, but most of the time it doesn't, but, um, on occasion it'll do something like that. Um, the mods that I did to it was, um, I, I definitely changed the shifter mod, because, the shift, the shift knob, because it was, um, it was too small and I didn't like it, so, um, I got Ford Racing shifter knob. Um... And now to this, um, I really hated black on black and the silver, um, bolts that it had, so, um, I painted it chrome, and I painted the bolts black, and it looks so much better now, and I love it. Um, it's a six-speed shifter, if you've ever watched one, you'll know, there's first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear and then reverse underneath sixth just push down um it work the shifter works great like i said and with the wheel and the shifter the mounting points that it has are amazing it's not gonna fall off um the thing i would recommend is if you're gonna buy one plan ahead because you're gonna need a good mounting setup because you're not gonna want to set it on your lap because it has the force feedback and it's just going to get in the way, but, um, I built this table for it, and it works great. Um, I had to add weight to it because when I was driving, it would tip on me and stuff like that, so I added 20 pounds to that, and then same thing with the wheel. I didn't build that table, but, um, it was one of those dinner trays, so I just used it, and it has 30 pounds on it, so that doesn't tip because the wheel is, um, it gets kind of, it tips a lot so um to, i built the chair also that goes with it it's um it's a good chair it's a perfect height for the wheel i don't know if i could back up far enough but it works perfect um it does hurt your butt and your back so i put some kind of cushion on it i had one for my back but then it just started getting in the way and falling off so i just took it off but um that's the chair and the chair works great um to the pedals uh Gas, brake, and clutch, um, they're all stainless steel, and they have their own levels of sensitivity, um, and as if you could see it, the gas is set back farther, like on a real car, you could probably see that, and, um, here's the, uh, levels of sensitivity, the gas, easiest, I can push it with one finger, the clutch is in the middle, it's, it gets a little bit harder to push it one finger, and then the brake, I can't even push it with one finger. I'd have to use like three or four. But uh, that's how the pedals work and everything. And uh, they tended to move a lot on me, so I put down a carpet. And um, since I wanted to have it back farther and I don't want to be right against the TV, I put uh, uh, an encyclopedia and a 25 pound weight and they're up against my entertainment center. So the pedals don't move now. Um, that's pretty much it for how it works. I mean, it all works great. It works especially good with Gran Turismo 5, which I'm probably going to show you now. Um, here, I'll turn the wheel on so it'll sync if I can find my PlayStation controller.
where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Um, here's the sink of the wheel. Still works like it's brand new after owning it for almost a year. Um, well, I have it's almost a year. I've had it since February and it's almost the end of November. So it's almost a year and it still works good. Um, I'm gonna go on Gran Turismo 5 and I'll show you how um, the wheel works with that game. Um, I'm probably not gonna do any racing. I'm just gonna go into um, one of my uh, tracks that I made and I'll show you. It's gonna sink again. I'll just show you some of the things that um <clears throat> is cool about owning this wheel with Gran Turismo 5. That's the load. Oh, and um, with your shifter, it has the D-pad, and it has. It has all the buttons of a PlayStation controller. They're just not labeled. Like, um, this would be X, circle, triangle, square. They're just not labeled because they can be programmed for the computer because this wheel is also um, compatible with the PC. These buttons are all programmable with, um, with the game. But, uh, anyway, I'll get my favorite car and I'll show you some of the and how this works. I'm a Mustang fan. This is my favorite car in the game. I'll probably turn the TV up too so you can hear it. Because I'm going to show you how it can stall out and stuff like that. Let's see if this little setup back here will work. It wasn't working before because I don't have a tripod. That should be good. I'm going to show you guys how um, how the clutch pedal works on this game. If you put the car in first, and you just pull out the clutch, the car will stall out, and then you'll have to put it back in neutral and holding the clutch to start it back up. Uh, things like that are pretty cool. Let's see. It just stalls out because it it'll kind of teach you how to drive a stick shift, believe it or not. Um, yeah. And, it's the same thing um, as a real car. Uh, when you're shifting, you just take off, put off the gas, clutch, second. And the LEDs are on so you can see how they work. I'll just do a quick lap so you can see how the force feedback and everything works.
Yeah, I just missed third gear. Um, I don't know. Sometimes it's my fault. Sometimes the shifter's not working, but, um, I'll shut the car off so you can kind of hear me better. Um, I don't know. Some, things like that. But, um, I mean, the wheel works, works good, and I don't know if you can see how good it was working in the me racing and everything like that, but it's a good wheel. I would recommend it to, to you if you wanted to buy it, but it is pricey. It's... Um, if you go on Amazon now, they were three hundred dollars, and um, they're lowered to two fifty, I believe now. So if you want to get one, they're a little bit cheaper. Um, here, I'll show you how the paddle shifters work and stuff like that. Um, you just click them and they'll shift the car for you. Um, that's pretty much it for the wheel. Um, I'd recommend it to people, and you know. Yeah, if you could just research it online, you'll find things out about it, you know, learn more. But yeah, it's a good racing wheel, and I like it, and it's good, you know. Alright, um, I'll see you guys later. Maybe I'll make another video of this wheel doing racing or something like that.